Good morning, class. Today is Thursday, April 23rd. I am back for our morning meeting. I hope you all had a great Earth Day yesterday. Um, my question of the day today is, what do we recycle and what do we reuse? So there's still a lot more to talk about when it comes to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Today we are going to talk about recycling and reusing. So I am going to read you a little story to start. Reuse it, recycle it. Trash is made up of paper, glass, metals, plastics, food, and electronics. Things made from paper, plastic, metal, and glass can be recycled. When something is recycled, it is made into something new. Food and yard waste can be mixed with dirt to create compost. It takes about six months for the compost to be made. Reuse items to create less trash. Try using reusable water bottles and cloth bags. When you reuse something, you use it over and over again. Things we don't need or want anymore can be donated and reused by another family. You can donate your old toys and clothes for someone new to use. All the things that are not recycled or reused go into a landfill. Landfills are piles and piles of garbage. The more trash we create, the more trash there is in our environment. The environment is all the plants, animals, and the world around us. The trash can pollute the air, land, and water, which hurts the environment. Pollution can make the plants, animals, and people sick. When we recycle, reduce, and reuse items, we help keep our environment clean. The less trash we create, the more it helps the environment. So again, it's always important to recycle and reuse. I'm going to show you what, what uh, I have for you today. My recycling truck. This is what a typical recycling truck looks like, right? You might have seen one of these around. They're usually green because green represents the color of recycling, right? Let's see what we have inside. So I'm going to show you some of the things that we can recycle every day. Plastic um, jug that water comes in or milk. These can be recycled. Plastic water bottles. Newspapers. Um, jars like this. Empty plastic jars. Containers. Aluminum cans, any cans like this for seltzer or soda, and paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls. Now, not just recycling, but we can reuse these items too. I can turn this into something if I wanted to. We're going to talk more about that uh, on another day. I can use this for something else if I wanted to, right? Most people will recycle these and then all of this stuff, okay, will be turned into something new for us to use so we don't waste it and it doesn't go into our landfill. So it's super important that we recycle and we reuse. If you are unsure about uh, if something can be recycled, 
there's certain symbols that we look for. We're Again, we're gonna talk more about these. Um, I just wanted to touch base a little on it today. But symbols with numbers you'll find on certain bottles, cans, um, anything like that. And then you can look and see if it can be recycled. So this one has the recycle symbol with a number one on the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see it. So if I looked here for the number one, it says that yes, it can be recycled. That means it's either, it's a prepared food bottle and that is the symbol I found. So that tells me that this can be recycled and that's how I know whether to put it in my recycling bin or my trash can. So that's a little uh, tip you can use. That brings us into our morning sensor activity. We are going to do some counting today with recycling bins. I have a Recycle Kids 10 Frames um, worksheet for you guys. So this will be on the Seesaw site. What do you do first? Always write your name on top. You are going to count the items and color in the correct circle of how many there are. So I see some containers in this bin. I counted one, two, three. I found the number three and I colored it in. You are going to do that for the rest of them. Practice your counting and finding your numbers. Have fun. I will be back this afternoon for a fun, fun recycling project. So um, you can start gathering uh, those materials. Hopefully you have some saved already and uh, you're gonna make something fun this afternoon. So I will see you all later. Bye guys.